G'day everybody, welcome to Two Clicks Up. If you're a uh, return viewer to the channel, welcome back. And if you're a new viewer and haven't yet subscribed, which would be really good if you did so, um, welcome aboard. Um, no new rifles, nothing like that today. Different star of the show today is these. We've tried out some projectiles. Um, been looking at these for a while and I finally decided to uh, pull the trigger as it were. We've got some Rexem 69 grain, grain F-bomb VLD, very low drag, in 22 cal. They're 69 grainer, and uh, they're quite an interesting projectile indeed. They're locally made, and um, with some of these imported uh, imported big name projectiles, it's getting a, sometimes a little bit scarce on the ground, and some of them are broader, starting to border on prohibitively expensive. Good to get a, a second option, particularly one that's locally made. So anything that's local, I will support it 1,000%. And uh, these are made right here in southeast Queensland. So uh, let's have a bit of a look at how the uh, how the results went. We'll have a closer look at them. Righto. Before we uh, before we get into looking at uh, recipes, result, results, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, let's have a look at uh, what we're dealing with here. Wrexham Australia, 69 grain F bomb VLD. Uh, 22 cal. That's basically all it says on the box. That's it. The first thing you will notice is the box. A cheap little uh, cardboard box. We'll have a look inside there. Nothing flash about any of that. And what I will say is um, ex flash expensive package, flash packaging, etc, etc, all, all that. That's just window decoration. It doesn't change what's in the box. Flash packaging ups the price and I will promise you, the end consumer always puts the bill and he foots it quite handsomely. So cardboard box, home printed um, labels, and, and I know this guy's got his family involved in it. They put boxes together. So that all brings costs down, which makes them, which is gonna make them a little bit uh, more attractive to the, uh, to the uh, everyday shooter, if you will. Now these are made, as I said, in Southeast Queensland, and um, these are going really well. These are going really well. There's a lot of videos out on the uh, on the internet, and YouTube, etc., etc., about these things, and you really don't hear a bad word about them. So that's what we're dealing with. We'll have a bit of a, uh, a look at one. So we can get into focus on my my hand. Where is he? There he is. With the light on him. Nice, big, generous boat tail. Hollow point projectile. Really well made. Really, really well made. Now we'll put them up against a. Uh, now that's up against the 55 grain Hornady VMAX, flat base VMAX. And I'll also put a, um, uh, a 55 grain Sierra Superu. Those uh, Game Kings, the 1365 Game Kings, the one they call the Superus. There's your three, th those two there are your basically um, your generic, if you like, for want of a better expression, uh, 22 cal projectiles for use in the 22 cal set of fires. And these are the uh, Rexims, just as a comparison. Um, <clears throat> what I will say, what I will say about the Rexims is uh, I randomly weighed ten, just pulled ten out of the box at, at random, and uh, their weight difference between uh, projectiles is no better or no worse than the big, um, the big manufacturers that you're paying. You're all, some of these, some of these manufacturers are wanting like. Uh, 80 cents, 85, 80, 85 cents upwards per projectile, which for a uh, a 22 calibre centerfire projectile, which you're quite uh, you're quite often using a reasonably high volume, that's just that's starting to border on ludicrous. I mean, they're a 22 calibre projectile for God's sake. They're not, you know, they're not a uh, not a precision instrument by any stretch of the imagination. But um, yet, the, in terms of their their weight variances between projectiles for the random ten that I did. No better, no worse than the big name. So that's something to consider. So all in all, in my opinion, a well a well constructed, um, a well put together projectile. There's been a lot of R and D going to these, and they do put a lot of R and D in them before they put them out on the uh, on the market. And uh, the results speak for themselves. So what we're going to do is we'll have a look now at um, at some load recipes and some results. Righto, let's see what we um, let's see what we loaded up with these uh, these rexims. Obviously, we've got our Rex M69 grain projectiles. We made it all go bang with some small rifle primers. Oh, they're these well, the old scamdemic primers. I don't know what the hell they are. Bought them where I got them where I got them. They fit, they go bang. That's all you really, all you can really hope to ask for these days. 
we use some uh, ADI 2206H powder. That's starting to get rare too. That's too about no supply of that till uh, well into next year. So we'll see how we go. Some ADI 2208, which is your equivalent to Vargat. We're equivalent to Hogden Vargat. And we ha we um, put it all together with some um, uh, unfired factory PPU brass. Yeah, I don't want to have an argument about uh, what brass is better, PPU. It, it, it does me. It's, it's hunting brass. I mean, if I drop one, you know, that's as cheap as chips. This stuff, you drop one, it's not the end of the world. It costs more to stop and look for it is to yeah you know, to just drop it and walk away i mean but that yeah you know, it, it's brass it does what it does okay now we've got all our our uh, stuff we've used uh nick harvey's practical reloading manual 11th edition wasn't much in in the uh in this to do with the 69 grainers for the 2d3 um used 70 grain that's close enough and we cross-referenced that with uh, the ADI hand loaders guide. Again, as I always say, this one, 99% of this stuff's on the net. 2 to 3 obviously, it's not a, uh, not a new chambering by any stretch of the imagination. So there we go. Right, quick loading disclaimer. If you want to reload ammunition of any sort, um, find out, do, some re do your research and find out as much as you possibly can about it. Always reload within manufacturers stated maximum specifications always stay well within that walk up walk up the ladder gradually as soon as you see any pressure signs whatsoever stop immediately what i the advice i give on this uh on this uh, youtube channel is general and general in nature and shouldn't be taken as gospel what i reload works well it works well for me and my rifles and my my rifles only it may or may not work necessarily for you or yours reload always reload safely wear uh, correct ppe uh when it is uh when it is advised and as i always say if you want to fill these things up with powder and make rocket chips out of them sunbeam that is on you and not on me right let's have a look at some results Right, oh, results time. With the uh, 69 grain Rex MF bombs, 22 cal. Now we've run these through a uh, standard 22 inch sporter profile, uh, Howard 223, uh, synthetic Hoag stock, um, light and factory trigger, nothing flashy about it. A standard workhorse 22, uh, standard workhorse 223 Howard. Very standard generic run of the mill rifle. Right, let's get on with the standard three inch targets. Shot at 100 yards. Right, first cab off the rank. We've used uh, 2 to 6 H powder. That was our first shot. Don't know what happened there. Just don't even worry about it. Three shots, 24 and a half grain to 2 to 6. First cab off the rank, 7.789. So dot over three quarters MOA. Not too foul at all. Right, up it by half a grain, 25 flat. One and three quarters MOA. Those two aren't too bad. Right, move on. Now we're getting somewhere. We've gone to 25 and a half grains. 0. 0.759, so three quarter MOA. Not too bad. I can live with that. I can easily live with that. That's why I've given it a little tick. And we've gone to our max and 26 grain load. We've gone 2.4 inches. One, two up there, not too bad. And this one down here. God knows what happened there. So I'd be happy to run with the um, uh, with the 25 and a half grains of 06. One and 08 load as well, because as I said earlier, this 2 to 06 H is uh, starting to get a bit scarce. It's gonna, the supply is gonna really start to thin out fairly shortly, if it's not already. Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, we've got some 2 to 08 now. Now we're cooking again. First shot way out here. Don't know what that's about. Then we put three in that. Three on top of each other. 0.435. Not too foul at all. We'll come back to that. Up by half a grain. Uh, 25 grains of the 2208. We've gone 1.93 inches. Those two are right. This one's out here. God knows what happened there. 25 and a half. 2.4 inches. Getting worse. Put these two on top of each other. Then this. I don't know, more than likely me, more than likely me, I will take the credit, the blame, whatever, you know. 
And then we went to 26 grains and we were 1.59, so inch and a half, we're, we're all over the shop there. So yeah, so I'd actually be happy with that. I'd actually be happy with 25 and a half. Uh, that's me, that's a fly, that's whatever. I can live with that. If, it, if a, a rifle could do that, 24 and a half, that's not a bad load. 24 and a half there, not a, that, that's, if I'd have to, maybe just chuck them a tad harder. I just like to chuck these things a little bit harder, but you know, I'm quite happy to do 24 and a half as well. In fact, that's probably what I would do in reality. All right, we've had a look, that, that's all our results we've got to look at, so let's put this one to bed. Righto, um, Wrexham projectiles. The uh, 69 grain F-bombs for the 223, done and dusted. Like them, like them a lot, cannot recommend them enough. Um, these are the sort of things, if you can get yourself a load for these, Powder-wise, they cost bugger or more to run. They're bugger, absolutely no more expensive than any of the uh, standard projectiles you're buying anyway. And a 69 grain projectile, you develop a, a, uh, a good enough load for that. It'll turn your generic, um, for want of an expression, generic 223 into just a little fox and, fox and roo gun into an absolute pig machine. Firing these things. There's videos around these things absolutely knocking pigs ass over it at a little 20 inch barrel so there we go so take take uh take from that what you will um i'm gonna do some field testing with these things now and i cannot wait i really cannot wait to get amongst these the uh out in the field with these things on paper they're good and i see absolutely no reason whatsoever that they won't be any good uh won't be any good in the field these things are mail order only at the moment um once, uh, once they sort of get up and running and get their volume up enough, they are going to be available in some of the shops and it's going to be in the better shops. Look for them, support these things. They are a local product. And we're very, one thing we do in this country badly is support local things because we'll go for something um, $2 cheaper because it's from Wing Wang Land. But it doesn't last and you can't get it again next week. That's what happens. We, we As a nation, we can't afford to let businesses like this flounder and that's as simple as that so what i'll do everything i said is off uh, mail order off the website i will leave a link to the website um Rexham's also on facebook um you can get in there you see all the updates on what, what they're doing and what they're not doing and videos etc 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 um hopefully this one will make it and uh my next uh, adventure after this with these things, I'll be, tr I'll be giving the uh, 106 grainers in the uh, 243 a run because uh, they are getting rave reviews as well. So that's, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really do suggest, really do suggest as so strongly as I possibly can, give these things a crack. There's absolutely nothing to lose whatsoever. Worth, it's worth doing a little bit of load development to get something that works that is a local a locally made projectile support local business and that's I, I can't say that enough times just support local business any any support people who support shooting there we go there's an old saying from a, another business years ago but support those that support shooting and these people support shooting make absolutely no mistake so i'll leave all the necessary links uh in the description and i hope you liked the video i hope you got something out of it and i hope you come out go out and buy some of these and and have a crack with them because they are a good thing so um again as i always say you tell your wife you can tell your girlfriend you can tell them both it don't matter too much to me you just go two clicks up ta-da